One of the things about my homeland, Ireland, which is a, a welcoming, wonderful, magical, mystical land, it's a land of legends and of leprechauns. <laughs> and one legend has it that at the end of every rainbow, you'll find a leprechaun and a pot of gold. Now, leprechauns are small, fairy-like creatures that bring you good luck, well-being, and happiness. And I remember my granddad said they were only about this size. But leprechauns bring you well-being and happiness. And also, they say that late at night, they say this back in the village, that late at night, if you're very lucky, and, and if you're very quiet, you can sometimes see leprechauns dancing on mushrooms. That's right, not smoking mushrooms. <laughs> dancing on mushrooms. Especially when they are happy because they, leprechauns have reached out and helped someone in need. Leprechauns dancing on mushrooms, helping someone in need. Now that's a pretty rosy story. And as you move further and further away from the magic and from the mystery of your childhood, why, it's one you might not even believe. But one thing you can believe though, is that you can bring the colors of the rainbow. You can bring the magic of the leprechaun. And you can bring the spirit of that Irish legend into your heart and into the heart of others when you reach out and help someone you know who's going through tough times today. The gift of gab, goals, attitudes, behavior. If you had a goal to reach out and help someone in need today, and I would bet that everyone here in this room knows someone today who is struggling. That's the world that we're living in. But if you were to reach out and help someone, you could make a difference to that person. And when you reach out and help so that person, you may well actually sow a seed. And that next person may reach out and help someone else. And the next person may reach out and help someone else. And the next person may reach out and help someone else. Every one of us here has been someone else at some stage. I arrived in after lunch. And there on my desk, was a potted plant. Not a pot plant. <laughs> Irrespective of what you say about medicinal marijuana, um, it was a potted plant. And its bright flowers were brightening in the room, but the message attached to it really brightened my heart. And the message read, Connor, life is not always fair. Hang in there. Signed, Carmel. Now, Carmel was a work colleague who actually often butted heads with, to be honest with you. But her simple act of kindness on that day helped me and encouraged me to stay in the organization where I eventually became ultimately very successful. And that's why you're stuck with me here now this, this afternoon, because I was transferred to the United States. But her simple act of kindness, though, helped me appreciate the impact that simple acts of kindness can have on someone when they are going through tough times. It was 19 years ago I received that potted plant. But even today, when times are tough, when I don't get the business that I want or a contract falls through, I tell you, I can still see that potted plant. It's bright red flowers shining like a beacon for me, helping me and encouraging me to go through and be able to beat the tough times. And you know what? Everyone here in this group today can provide a potted plant real or symbolic to someone you know who's going through tough times right now. And even given the economy that we're in, some of you might be saying, hey, I'm the person who's going through tough times. I'm not getting the kind of salary that I want. My spouse can't find a job. My husband is out, my kid is out of work. I'm overstressed, I'm overworked. But if that's the case, you more than anyone would appreciate if someone were to pick up the phone, send an email, write words of encouragement, or give a hug of support. And everyone here in this room could do it. And if everyone here in this room was to have a goal that you would reach out and help someone who is struggling, and you do know someone who is struggling, it can make a real difference to you. It can make a real difference to Edward Hospital as well. Imagine, imagine if on Monday you reached out and helped someone at work. Imagine if that someone on Tuesday reached out and helped someone else. Imagine if on Wednesday the next person reached out and helped someone else. Imagine if on Thursday, 
Imagine what would happen if someone made the first effort to reach out and help. I know you're working with a great organization, but everyone struggles at times. And you can make a difference to that one person. And when you make that one person happier, you can make a difference to the whole organization as well. A simple little act of kindness can make a difference. One simple little example on that, I'll go back to the, the potted plant example that I was talking about. When I finally say goodbye to this world, and when I finally talk my way past St. Peter at the pearly gates, that's going to be an interesting conversation, I tell you. Uh, I expect to see, sitting in one of the premier rows in heaven, Carmel, the lady who gave me that potted plant. And I don't know, there is a rule in heaven, it was introduced by the HR department, um, that you return, sorry Carrie, okay, <laughs> that you return potted plants to the giver. I'll go over to Carmel and I'll say to her, with my potted plant, I'll say, Carmel, I never liked potted plants. <laughs> But the day you gave me that potted plant, you brought the colors of the rainbow, you brought the magic of the leprechaun, and you brought the spirit of that Irish legend into my heart, and you helped me when I was struggling. Thank you. And you know what might well happen, given the way we are as human beings are? Quite likely, Carmel might say, Connor, I don't even remember that incident. <laughs> but I do, and it made a difference to me. And you probably remember the time that someone reached out to help you. I can remember something from 19 years back. It can make a difference to everyone. And so when I finally take my seat in heaven and I look across the aisle, and given this spirit of goodwill and generosity that is in this room, I expect to see, sitting across the aisle, you and you and you and you and you, surrounded by potted plants. A potted plant representing an act of kindness where you help someone who is struggling. A potted plant that cost you nothing to the receiver was priceless. A potted plant you may have forgotten, the receiver never forgotten. A potted plant, all the hues and the colors of the rainbow, red and orange and green and yellow and blue. A potted plant that had both of you, receiver and giver, dancing on mushrooms. The gift of gab, goals, attitudes, behavior. If you've got a goal to reach out and help someone, you can make it a top of the morning experience for you and for other people. <laughs>